Hi everyone, welcome to our weekly live immigration attorney chat. I'm attorney Megan Pastrana of Immigration for Couples and I'm excited to be here with all of you today. So marriage on a tourist visa, and I made this part two because I recently released a video a lot of people have been asking and there's so many rumors around this. I've made videos about it before because I really want individuals to understand um, whether or not it's, it's lawfully allowed to enter the United States on ESTA or on a tourist visa and get married. And so the, the short answer is, yes, there is no law against you entering on ESTA or a tourist visa to get married in the United States and then leave the United States. And so why I'm doing part two is I wanted to really clarify that there's a lot of confusion about this because with a tourist visa or ESTA, you're entering the United States on a non-immigrant status. And that basically means that you don't have immigrant intent. You don't have intent to remain in the United States and live, that you're just coming for the limited purpose of travel, of visiting, and that you will leave before your stay expires, that you don't plan on staying here, living here, getting married, and filing for your green card here. Because I know a lot of people who are going through an immigration process, you've probably heard of adjustment of status, and that's a process that a couple is allowed to do here in the United States. And so, of course, that is that is the path that everyone wants to take. You know, it would allow you to be together. The problem, though, of coming to the U.S. to get married, and if you were to come here, get married, and stay, that's when it becomes a problem. So it, it, immigration doesn't allow you to come on a tourist visa or ESTA with the intent to get married, stay, and file for adjustment of status. And the reason that is, is because that would be considered fraud. And so I know there were people in the Facebook group that were asking, would it be considered fraud? So I've had multiple questions on this and they said, would it be considered fraud if, if my my fiance comes on a, on a tourist visa or ESTA, we get married and then and then we stay in the United States. And so that is fraud because when you receive ESTA, when you receive your tourist visa, you are telling immigration that my intent, my intent is only to go to the U.S. And, and visit. I don't plan on staying and living there. So when you come and then you get married and then you stay here, live here and file for your adjustment of status, Basically, immigration sees that as that you were lying, that you weren't being truthful. And so that's when it becomes a problem. But if you do plan on just coming here and getting married and then leaving and completing a spouse visa process abroad, that that would be lawfully uh, allowed. You also can run into issues when you come every time you enter on a temporary status like ESTA or a tourist visa, you are at the discretion of that of that. CBP officer when you're entering. So if they believe that you don't have the right intent when you're entering the United States, they can they can deny you entry. But we do have many clients that we have helped that are able to come get married and then we can file for their, their spouse visa and, and they can complete the process abroad. But yes, that is allowed because I know a lot of people are asking that because maybe your, your fiance is able to more easily come to the U.S. and get married and there, maybe there's reasons that you aren't able to leave and go to their country and get married. So that would be a possibility.